I have always loved nautical charts, especially the ones that were printed up until recently in offset lithography. There was a dusty old commercial maritime chart store in Lower Manhattan that was Aladdin's lantern for me. I think charts can be an ingenious reminder of the sea and the shore and of the elegance of sailing, like having lots of great memories all wrapped up into one subtle trigger point. But more intriguingly, they are a way of looking at a place which is different from what a photograph gives you. It's like another dimension. Charts also include legends and abbreviations that tell you what you'll find right there, like the conditions of the ocean floor that would make it difficult to anchor there. In effect, telling you a story of how your life might go there. This is quite compelling to me as I like any way of imbuing a painting with an implied narrative or an abstract range of maybes, the way a poem can do that. Those printed charts all left a lot of fairly blank space available, and I started painting on them. I went through a lot of charts this way because you couldn't get full control over the relative contrast of the printed lines bleeding through the paint. So I switched to painting the chart in translucent glazes on top of my painted images. This technique also let me change elements in the charts, which means that where it used to say rocky or eel grass, you can now say a few words from a poem or a song. And as you passed your eye over the painting, you would pick up other words, which could all add up to something that touches your heart. Simply putting two images next to each other sets a story going. To layer a chart over them can amplify that effect. I also love the chart's graphic marks as counterpoint to the painterly composition of the background. And last of all, if you make the chart just faint enough, it will be invisible or barely noticed on first impression, but then become clear as you approach the painting, like an invisible ink in a Sherlock Holmes story, appearing and then disappearing for as long as you have the painting.